listening to a voice that has become less loud but increasingly subtle because the ego pattern is still there. But I no longer greet what I historically judged and crucified myself for. I no longer greet it with a great big bat. I greet it with open arms and a heart of compassion and invite it to tell me its story. What feeling have you held that I might not feel pain and or feel anything else? Because in blocking what I would have described as painful feelings, I also blocked joy. The only thing I really knew about joy was that it was a three-letter word that showed up around Easter time in a Hallmark store. <laughs> That's really, I mean, that was it. I even came to discover that I was terrified of love. because I had to step through the mirror from this upside down world into one that is right side up. I was afraid to be loved, to receive it, to accept that I am lovable was huge, absolutely huge, to accept that I am lovable. You know, God is so completely enamored with the very idea of each of us, each and every one, and everyone that is, that he keeps making us up. One divine breath at a time. He finds the very idea of us so dear. And no matter what we have done or what we have thought in any way, shape, or form, there is nowhere to go. that is beyond love's reach and eternal embrace. <clears throat> I was once very, very frightened to just be merry. Today, I am, and I am called Mary. Same first name everywhere in this room and in the whole world. I am I am that I am I am here here I am I think all of us can identify with the feelings of terror that come sometimes even at the thought of showing the world our authentic face for fear of being judged. But 
that I tell you that your authentic being is a glory a glory of wonder and whether you know it or not each and every one of you and every one you encounter is wearing the face of God Wow. Every blade of grass, every beautiful flower, every dewdrop, every raindrop, every clap of thunder, every breeze that caresses your face is that which is <coughs> loving you. If we look around with the eyes of the heart, we will see nothing but blessings. We will see nothing but abundance. We will see nothing but gifts. And even now, if I'm having a bad day, I know that that day, that situation has for me a gift in its hands that says, okay, and there's no more squashing the feeling. So I say, okay, feeling of annoyance, frustration, control. What are you trying to tell me? And I'm now willing to look at a situation come up this past week centered around the issue of a dog. Great teacher's dogs. And what I came up against was a lifelong pattern of wanting to fix. of not wanting someone that I loved to step off what I perceived to be a cliff. What in heaven's name do I know? What do I know? That dog may have had wings. What do I know? I do know that it rattled my peace. So why did it rattle my peace? because I was not trusting in God. I had let fear take over the driver's seat. And let me tell you, it was uncomfortable. But it was human. And I needed to know that in those moments I had not been trusting and as a result of that I had been afraid. How did it come up? How did I show it? <coughs> By being reasonable. <laughs> you know, nice <laughs> cloak there. But I was able to look at it and recommit to trust and faith. To trust that the Divine Feminine is equally as much as a Divine Masculine birthing me in every moment in a much more balanced way than ever. These polarities are meant to complement and balance. And in the balanced state is the new 
created. This world has not known balance for thousands and thousands and thousands of years. Women have not been respected. Our Divine Mother Gaia has not been respected. Compassion has been left by the wayside. And if there is an urgent need, and I mean now, it's a willingness to go inside and ask what is hidden in me that is an obstacle to my awareness to love's presence. And it requires tremendous courage. Knowing that you will suffer, you will cry. And through those tears, a new you will be born. A deeper, more loving, more compassionate, richer you than is yet to be. Been quite a ride. I'm very grateful to be the authentic I am. Very freeing not to be running back and forth shuffling through notes. So I'm just going to kind of wind this up with a little quote that uh, was shared with me by a friend of mine. And I'll see if I can get it. Um, it's from a Sufi mystic whose name I can't pronounce. <laughs> and it goes something like this. When the soul begins to read, every leaf becomes a page in the sacred book. May our souls begin to read that we come to recognize ourselves and each other and all that is as a sacred page. So be it. And so it is. Namaste. Okay, what happens to be offering again? Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, thank you. 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 Thank this is going to make you want to get up. <laughs> You're my life, you're my breath, you're a smile, you're my guest You're the earth, you're the sun, you're the grass, you are love You're my hands, you're a bug, you're my eyes, you're a hug You're the light in the dark, you're the spark, you are fun You're my mom, you are water, you're the stars, you're my daughter You're my friend till the end, you're my dreams, you're my father You're the hands on the ground, the miracles that surround I'm feeling it all around, the hemisphere and the cloud You're my pain, you're my sorrow, you're my hope for tomorrow You're the strength when I'm hollow, you're the path that I follow You're the blessings that exist, the small things that are bliss The gift to realize that
Now I'm looking forward to the sun saying stop to take a bow and keep moving forward and start looking forward to your heart. It'll open all the doors and only then you'll start to hear the world singing chorus with your mind and heart. Align the purpose, everything will feel gorgeous. Deserve or could ever imagine. How do I get back to all of this magic and spread the love so everybody can have it? Doesn't matter if I'm rich or poor, if I got a family or if I'm all alone. Bad things happen, I can just complain and moan. I live the only thing that I can be grateful for. which we offer to our spiritual center. May they be used to our highest and holiest of purposes. And so it is. So, so it is. It's a blessing. Better take my mic off. It's amazing. Can somebody hold her down? I'm grateful. Oh, Billy, turn me off. Da 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 da
It's amazing. It's a blessing. <laughs> Grateful for it all. Oh, hello. Oh, oh, thank you. There you go, Jer. Thanks. There you go, Jer. <laughs> <laughs> We've known each other a long time. It's okay. I remember that. Jer. Get up here. I want to hold your hand. <laughs> I wanna hold your hand. I wanna hold your hand.